there's some news with Don Lemon. And uh, he's here today, journalist Don Lemon. <laughs> Before we go, he's having a menopausal <laughs> So Don Lemon was supposed to kick off his partnership with Elon Musk mm -hmm. on the billionaire social media platform X, also known or previously known as Twitter, but next week, on um, next week, but instead, Musk just ended up cutting ties with our darling Don Lemon after a rather tense interview session. Watch. Hate speech on the platform is up. Do you believe that X and you have some responsibility to moderate hate speech on the platform? That you wouldn't have to answer these questions from reporters about the Great Replacement Theory as it relates I to Democrats? I don't have to answer these questions. The Great Replacement Theory as it relates to Jewish people. Do you think that... I don't have to answer questions from reporters. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, I would not do interview with this interview. So you don't think, that you, do you think that you wouldn't get in trouble or you wouldn't be criticized for these things? I'm or criticized that there possibly. Was... I could care less. What a snowflake. <laughs> what a snowflake. Wow. <laughs> wow. I well, could use some please snowflakes Please welcome right Don Lemon. Uh -huh. <laughs> Joy, let me just say that yeah. I was determined to get a reason to have the fan is because I jumped out of the car sitting in traffic at Times Square. Yeah. Uh, no, at Herald Square. I jumped out of the car, got on the subway, and ran eight blocks just wow. to be with you later. Wow. Did you really? I did. I'm glad you explained it because TMC is going to be <laughs> TMC is outside, yeah. by the way. Now Don Lemon is running down the streets of New York like a crazy man. <laughs> okay, so before we get to yeah. what happened exactly to what happened, let's back it up a bit because when you left CNN last year, Elon Musk actively courted you to be yeah. on on Twitter, X, whatever he calls it. Have you considered doing a show, he said, on this platform may be worth a try. Audience is much bigger, said Elon Musk. But everyone knows how controversial Musk is. So I have to ask you, didn't you know this was going to end badly? He, he's, you know, Musk is not really... You know. I went into this with my eyes open. And I, look, this is just an old saying in the South. And they say, you knew I was a snake before you picked me up. Yeah. I'm not saying he's a snake, but I'm just saying that it's that is, is relative right. uh, to this. So I went into this with my eyes open. But truly, I went into it with the best of intentions. I, I heard your conversation just briefly about, an in, about independence. I am an independent, regardless of what people think. You know, Elon Musk thinks I'm on the left or what have you. I'm an independent. I believe in free speech. Mm -hmm. I believe that people have the right to say whatever they want to say, and but you suffer the consequences for it when you say it. Right. So I took them at their word. They courted me for months. Yeah. And when their new CEO came aboard, she courted me. Her, their management team courted me. They sweetened the, sweetened the deals with incentives. And I said that was the biggest and best place for me to launch a show. Um, and because you know what's happening with television now and, and yeah, what have yeah. you. It's shrinking. Yeah. But I thought, why seed Twitter or X? is one of the biggest social media platforms in the world, the biggest, one of the biggest information platforms right. in the world. Why cede that platform to extremists? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to get on there and I wanted to fight it out so everyone could have a voice. Yeah, mm -hmm. and no. they, would be, they were basically begging you to do it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, they were. And you did it even though a lot of your friends told you you were crazy. Like you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like you. I did too. <laughs> but, so Elon Musk famously claims to be a big proponent of free speech. He refers to himself as a free speech absolutist. He calls X the digital town square. Yeah. And he willingly agreed to this yeah. interview that you asked for uh, and said that there were no restrictions. Mm -hmm. So what exactly happened? How, what set him off? And then he sends what? This terse text to, to your agent saying, Contract, Contract is canceled. canceled. What was your reaction? Oh, the law doesn't really work like that, Elon. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, all right, we'll, yeah, we'll talk about yeah. that, yeah, because there's a lot going on about that. What happened, really, look, I would say that that is, um, that's a good question for e Elon Musk, because it, he knows who Don Lemon is. Mm -hmm. He knew who I was. He asked me to come on the platform. He offered incentives and money. They agreed to a deal. They flew me out to Las Vegas to announce this at CES. They tried to be out in front of clients, in front of advertisers. I went to the to the, ex, the Twitter offices to do client meetings and to try to entice advertisers back to the platform. So I was a you know good soldier. I was doing my job. So what happened? I think it was just uncomfortable for him to sit in front of someone and actually um, have to answer questions, to be held accountable. Right. right. To, um, to, to really, you know, Instead of being in a friendly, usually, usually for the most part, his interviews are with a friendly crowd. 
Did he right. not ever see you on television? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I didn't yeah. understand, yeah. Yes, but I would be... Well, he thought because he was... He thought he bought you. you. You were supposed to kneel he at the But That's not what journalists do. Right. I know no. that, but he is... And there's, listen, okay. there, and there's, you know, there are people out there saying, you know, you shouldn't... Uh, he was your boss. First of all, he's not my boss. Right. Mm -hmm. I didn't work for X. Uh, they had no editorial control over my show. They were a distribution partner. It was not an X show. Everyone thought it was an X show. Right. They only had exclusive content, uh, just a couple of, you know, um, episodes, uh, uh, three episodes a week, but like 10 minutes on top of that for 10 times a month. They had exclusive content uh, that was, you know, to be exclusive to them for 24 hours, and it was going to go everywhere. My show, was, like, my show was always going to go everywhere. That sounds like a good contract. Though. Yes, it you're, is. You're but still going to put it on X. I, of course I'm going to put it on X, and I would dare anyone, and especially Elon Musk, to watch this interview and tell me why this isn't exactly what X needed and well, what he well, wanted me to come well, to the Well, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. So in the clip earlier, um, you asked Musk about the rise of hate speech on X, mm -hmm. including the Great Replacement Theory. As the owner of one of the largest social media platforms in the world, with over 600 million monthly active users, mm -hmm. did he take any accountability for that type of, of content? And I, uh, you also brought an exclusive clip for us today, so I really want to see that. But yeah. can you, can, did he take accountability for it at all? Um. No. No. He did not. I think, and, I, and what you're going to see is I challenged him on that. And you asked me what he didn't like, and it's really facts. It's this. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's so go. this Let's is, go. let me, can I set it yeah, up for set you? It up. So this is what I, you know, you remember what happened with the Alaskan Airlines plane? Yes. When the yes. door fell off? Yeah. And then there was a woman pilot, who, the woman who was piloting the plane, but they landed safely. And then he tweeted about it saying DEI, basically saying DEI was making the skies um, unsafe. <laughs> but she safe. landed it safely. But she that was my point. So, <laughs> they need to know what DEI is. Do you believe that women and minority pilots are inherently less intelligent and less skilled than white male pilots? No, I'm just saying that we should not lower the standards for them. But there's no evidence that standards are being lowered when it comes to the okay. airline industry. You've, you've repeatedly said that there's no evidence that standards are being lowered. And watch the replies showing all the evidence that it is. Replies, replies, though, on social media or on Twitter are not necessarily fact and evidence. No, that's, they will just, that's people's they will, opinion. They will cite okay. all the... All the, all the replies, we'll in the replies to this, you'll see how often the, this, the, the information is cited showing that, indeed, there are significant uh, cases where uh, standards are lowered. <coughs> oh. So he just believes conspiracy theory. Well, Explain to them what DEI stands for. Not everybody knows. Diversity, these equity, and inclusion. Basically, right. it's making sure that they're, you know, that the workforce reflects the population right. of the country, right. for women, minorities, for all people, right? right? But the, the, the whole point of that exchange was Boeing took responsibility for that, yeah. saying that it was a faulty door. And it was a woman pilot who landed who the landed plane safely. Yeah. Wouldn't, doesn't that mean she's qualified? Right. Without incident. And, <laughs> Maybe know. more qualified. Yeah. Well, you can see that sexism and misogyny is not rational. What? Very quickly, because we're tight on time, you yes. asked him about his meeting with Trump. Did he give any indication? He said at this time he's not yeah. backing anyone specifically, but did he show his hand on if he would support Trump? You'll have to watch a list. Oh! <laughs> you have to watch. He did, though. He, and I'm just, I'm just having fun with you. He did talk about the meeting, why he went down, the context and the venue they were in. Mm -hmm. uh, and he did talk to me about what the president, the former president, Well, brother, I think getting fired by Elon Musk is something you should wear as a badge of honor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys so Thank much. You I can't wait back. to see you guys soon. You I know, know where I you know. Well, you, you know, know what you mean? You know, I think somebody got to him. You think he so? He knew what he was getting into. And then, no, he no, thought he'd come on. He's not stupid. He knew what he was hiring. <laughs> he's, he's a, somebody got to him. Somebody calls him a toddler child. Like, what's, what did you call him? Uh, uh, All right. I don't know. Watch. Watch. You, watch. You're going to see. Our thanks to Don Lemon. His full interview with Elon Musk, by the way, premieres Monday. You can watch the Don Lemon Show on X, YouTube, and wherever you get your podcasts. So he's still here. We'll be right back. Thank you, guys.